Well, it's a comedic and lighthearted opera that, get this, is actually <laughs> sung in English. We like this. Right, we and we do still have uh, subtitles, I'm told, as well. <laughs> We're talking about the Pirates of Penzance, and I am joined today by the Pirate King himself, Tyler Putnam. I don't I, already talking to you, you don't seem like a Pirate King. We're glad you're joining us. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? Nice. And, and here in like Tampa, we love our pirates, so it yeah. is kind of appropriate that you're here, but you're too nice. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hi there. So you were telling us a little bit about your history. You've been singing opera now for about 10 years, yeah. and you were saying that when you first kind of got into it, we were always kind of talking about with the, our, our fellow opera singers, someone gets them saying, hey, you have that opera voice. Mm -hmm. You were hesitant at first, 10 years ago, when you kind of got into it. What say you now? Well, my voice took me there yeah. because it's low, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you were in music theater. That was kind yeah. of your thing before. Yeah, but it's... Um, it's, it was really high. Yeah. Just, everything's really high. So <laughs> I ended up in opera and have grown to love it uh -huh. and learning Italian and German and all this old, beautiful, beautiful music. And uh, the Pirates of Penzance is something somewhere in between. It's called okay. an operetta. And for me, it's wonderful to be able to do spoken dialogue on stage to act um, between numbers. So singing and acting and speaking and uh, is this blast, one of so. your favorites to do because I'd imagine it's a favorite I think for people just getting into opera too right oh yeah no um, um, like I say um, you can call it an opera you can call it a musical mm -hmm. you can call it operetta okay it's it uh, crosses those lines and it's very fun and en English and it's not a long show either okay so okay. I have yet to see Pirates of Penzance. My reference to is like still the pretty woman. Yeah, that's line, what I you thought know, of you too. Yeah. Kind of think of that. So yeah. for people who haven't been, we've heard it's a lot of fun, but I'm saying Pirate King. Again, you seem too nice. So describe your character a little bit, what people do see from you on stage. So we pretend that we're bloodthirsty, merciless pirates, but actually we are too tender hearted. So, and, and um, that's just the irony of the thing, you know? And then in act two, there's a police force that comes after us but they're afraid of chasing down criminals. And so then we stand <laughs> off and, and, you know, let's find out what happens. All right. So. What are you going to sing for us today? I'm going to sing My Aria, the Pirate King song. Okay. So. I love it. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Of course, you can go and enjoy it for yourself. At, uh, this weekend, there's the dates and time. Of course, you can go to the Straz website for more information. And again, take it away. We're yeah. glad okay. you're here today. of heart to live and die under the brave black flag I fly then play a sanctimonious part with a pirate head and a pirate heart away to the cheating world go you where pirates all are well to do but I'll be true to the song I sing and live and die a pirate king for I am a pirate king it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king, for I am a pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. Hoorah for the pirate king! When I sally forth to seek my prey, I help myself in a royal way. I sink a few more ships, it's true, than a well-bred monarch ought to do. But many a king on a first-class throne, if he wants to call his crown his own, must manage somehow to get through more dirty work than ever. King. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king, for I am a pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. Hoorah for the pirate king. 